Hey y'all, it's Paige Leanne. So I'm here today doing a DIY Ultimate Rice Water Deep Conditioner. Yes, y'all, I said rice water. So I'm starting off by using avocado. Mine is a little bit overripe because this is half that I ended up using for my face mask and I saved this one. If you haven't checked that out, go and do so. Um, avocado has a lot of great benefits when it comes to your hair as well, your skin. So you definitely want to check that out. Um, I'm using a half teaspoon of organic ground flex seeds. I'm making sure to blend everything this time. I'm using one caplet of maca root, or you can use the powder form, whichever one you choose to use. And I'm going to end up using one third cup of fermented rice water. It's already been fermented. Um, I ended up straining the rice for, from it and I ended up adding warm water to it. So I did dilute it already. Next, I'm using one teaspoon of Jamaican black castor oil. We all know the benefits of Jamaican black castor oil, how it is known to regrow that hair, help with thinning hair and your edges. This is a new one for me. It's ground cinnamon, which is a lot like peppermint oil and peppermint. It is known to stimulate the hair and blood flow and circulation and push that hair growth out. Hey y'all, so it is time for me to apply this DIY Ultimate Rice Water Deep Conditioner to my hair. All I did was go ahead and shampoo my hair. I had it sectioned off into four sections, y'all. Like, I don't know what happened to my twist. They're up here somewhere. But either way, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. So this is how it looks now. So it almost has like a brown, greenish look to also, it. Also, y'all, I just rinsed off my face mask. If you haven't went and checked out that video, definitely do so. I'm going to put that in the description box as well up at the top. My face has really been super clear. I don't know if it's the spin brush or the face mask. I think it's a combination of both around my lips. Usually I would have like a darker area around my lips. I noticed that it's getting super light. So I'm going to continue to use that. I've used it for four days now. So I'm planning on doing a whole week and then just probably incorporating that into my skincare routine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair off. I'm gonna do probably about six sections to make sure I really focus on my roots as well, my ends. And this is something you really want to get to your scalp area because of the cinnamon. It helps to help with um, blood circulation. So that helps with stimulating that hair growth, promoting that hair growth and just pushing it out the scalp, literally. So I like to go ahead and massage it to my scalp first. And that's, you know, the rice water, the cinnamon, the macaroon, all that. You just want everything to the scalp area first. And then I'm just going to shingle it down to my ends. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my whole head. I will let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it as well. I will cover it up with a plastic bag and a um, shower cap. I'm not going to apply any heat this week, so I'm definitely not going to do that. I just want to see what it would do on its own. <clears throat> so I see my curls are like oh my goodness like wow do y'all see this my curls are so popping like look at that yes oh my goodness wow <laughs> okay let me go ahead and apply So FYI, the cinnamon did give my scalp a really tingling sensation and tingling feeling to my scalp. That's completely normal. All it's doing is 
waking up those nerves, getting that blood circulation flowing and everything that it is supposed to do. If y'all have used peppermint oil before or peppermint, you already have a sense of what I'm talking about and understand this tingling feeling. I did notice that the cinnamon was a little bit more intense with the tingling than the peppermint oil. So just figured I would throw that out there. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and rinsed it out. And when I was rinsing it, like, oh my goodness, I could just see my curl definition in the sink. It was amazing. My hair is super detangled, everything the opposite of what it was before I applied this mixture. So this is definitely going to be a go-to mixture for me. Maybe do it every other week, not every week. So now all I'm going to end up doing is using my coconut milk by cream of nature and my oil mixture and i'm just going to twist my hair back up i'm going to let y'all go ahead and check out this curl definition as well and my hair smells so good because of the cinnamon so that is another plus to this deep conditioner and look my hair is still so defined like, and my shirt is soaking wet because I didn't dry my hair really in the reason why because when I dry my hair like with the t-shirt it gets too dry and then I have to re-wet it and I just hate doing that with the spray bottle so I'm trying to leave it wet I'm just gonna change shirts afterwards but look y'all and my shirt is soaked but yes so I would definitely recommend trying this out if you haven't tried it out. If I was gonna do a wash and go, like my wash and go would be popping. I still have not done a wash and go yet and I've been getting so many requests on that. So that will be something that I'm going to think about doing very soon. As well, I have some other requests that I'm getting into play as well. So y'all just stay tuned to my channel. I appreciate y'all watching and supporting my channel. And I will see y'all in the next one. Till next time, y'all. Bye.